everyone welcome back I hope you're all doing really well so I've got a fun one for you today and I dressed the part it's pumpkins with some cool stuff there See, you gotta love this creepy in his mouth because I'm doing a tag today that was created by the book bell who I will link below and it's the cozy autumn book tag or you know fall for us Americans and what says fall more than pumpkins even though I really don't like pumpkin but I love me some Halloween so we gotta get into it and of course I had to write the questions down in my Harry Potter journal and we'll see if I get some visitors we got one sleeping beside me and one's on guard in the front window you know make sure nobody dares to you know, walk down the street without paying the toll We'll start off with, the first question is, what book reminds you of fall or Halloween? And for me, that's gotta be Harry Potter, which, eh, perfect, right? But I mean, we got witches, we got ghosts. They're always talking about pumpkin juice. That's like their drink at Hogwarts. So, you know, pumpkins are fall. So, I'd much rather some good, you know, apples or sweet potatoes or something, but you know. We got our fall thing. It even takes place like September. There's always like the Halloween party that I so wish I could go to. So, and that's just one of my favorite books. So that's just perfect. Your favorite autumnal book cover. That I should have prepared better for this because I have no idea. I I've seen some with cool covers, but they don't really say like fall or autumn to me. It's more of, hey, it's spooky because. Autumn, fall, whatever you want to call it, to me just means it's Halloween time and I'm no longer sweating my butt off. It, it's nice and cool and I can start wearing my boots and my big comfy hoodies. So I, I might have lost weight, I might have gained 20 pounds. You ain't gonna know till it warms up. Ha ha ha, freedom! <laughs> so, favorite fall drink. That's gotta be eggnog for me. Like I know that's technically like a winter thing, but Usually you can find little pints of it with, you know, pumpkins and ghosts and, you know, spooky stuff around this season. It's honestly, usually we find it at like dollar stores before it makes it to the big ones, but I love me some good eggnog. That's just, that's where it's at. Number four, do you prefer to read at night or early morning? I don't even want to be conscious early in the morning. Uh, they, they really should pay me extra for showing up to work on time. I mean, it's just rude. <laughs> no, mostly, like, at night, if I read, I'm not going to sleep because now I need to know what happens next unless it's a book that I've already read several times before. So that's just a bad idea. That's why, like, my bedtime routine is let me put on Harry Potter or something else that I've seen a thousand times so I can just turn my back to it and still know exactly what's going on. I don't really have to, like, engage and pay attention so most of my reading i get done in the middle of the day in random spurts favorite spooky read mm, I, i'm gonna have to go with the classic here by what my my favorite horror author i've got to go with the taking by dean Koontz. like that's the first thing i ever read by him and when i was this little itty bitty teenager reading this that scared the crap out of me so, yep, I, I love that one. If I want, you know, here, here, let's nudge you into horror and give you something that's scary, but, you know, if you read it during the daytime, not too bad. Kind of like, you know, watching my brothers play Resident Evil when they were younger. They wouldn't play it at night. They always turned the lights on. <laughs> that, that's kind of how you should read The Taking the first time. Ultimate comfort read. Well, anything Christopher Moore, because... I've read it a thousand times and they always make me giggle. Though, if you don't have a weird sense of humor, he's not for you, <laughs> but he's one of my insta buys. Just like, I think I started reading him when I was like 13. It, my favorite book by him is You Suck, A Love Story. And if that doesn't make you wanna like pick that up and tell you exactly what it's about and his weird sense of humor, then I, I, I don't know what will. I'd tell you the opening you know, sentence of the book, even though it's actually the second book in a trilogy. 
but yeah, he cusses on the first line. <laughs> but trust me, it, it's really funny. Or again, Harry Potter, another one that I have been reading since I was about that age. I, I got into that book because I had a teacher call me Hermione and I thought he might be insulting me, so I had to go find out to plan my revenge. And now, you know, 20 years later, I'm still reading it. Favorite fall snack? Mm, I don't know. I'm, give me the carbs all year round, but I guess strictly fall. Something like apple -y or like, you know, sweet potatoes. That's where it's at. Give me a good sweet potato casserole, you know, some cinnamon apple pie with this crumbly topping. So basically, it's cinnamon season for me. Like, once it starts being supposed to get cold out, I, I like to make those uh, spice pecans, start making some, like, oatmeal cookies heavy on the cinnamon. I'm still trying to figure out how to make a good, like, apple-y cookie. I, I followed an online recipe, and I was very, very unhappy. So I'm still playing with that one. But just, ooh. A anything nice and carb-filled and cinnamon you got me. I I'm going for it. Favorite fall candle? Well, okay, I can't have actual candles in this house because I got pups that like to climb on tables and cats, so I would be homeless. But I do have a wax warmer that I actually have going right now, and it's a cinnamon apple uh, little tart thingy. And not only is that one of the things that I love to eat, but it just smells like fall. It's got that cinnamon scent without the overwhelming oh my gosh I'm going to cough and die smell that you usually get from walking in the stores when they have those pine cones and brooms that have got that like cinnamon on it it's just nice and cozy favorite non-reading fall activity mm, I don't do a lot of outdoors and I don't really know where a like a maze around here is because that that's definitely bucket list. One of these days, I wanna like go do like a little hay, yo know, maze or something. But it's carving pumpkins and just decorating for Halloween, just in general. Like I, I'm gonna spend way too much money shopping, even though I've pretty much filled every space that I have already with stuff. But you gotta have options, right? I mean, like yes, I have like five bins of stuff in the garage, but. What if I want to change it up so the house doesn't always look the same? Can't be getting bored. This, this is where I spend my like time when I'm not having to go to work so I can buy the stuff at, to put in the place I spend my time. So, yeah, I'm going to go with decorating and snuggling my puppies, who's now giving me an abused, dirty look because I gave her a little pet there. Huh. She's a big girl all upset because she got pets. <laughs> it's past her nap time. She woke me up, but th th that's not allowed to return the favor. <laughs> She's just yadding confused. And what's on your fall reading list? Well, I did do a Halloween TBR that I will link below, and you'll just have to see what's on my fall reading list, won't you? <laughs> Little evil shameless plug. <laughs> So, but let me know what's on your reading list. Hopefully y'all got some nice spooky ones going and I will see you soon. Bye. Happy reading.